Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Stan Houston. The program is Interesting Ideas, and uh, this is the follow-up on Hurricane Saturday. Yes, they were the incredible sounds of silence, and that meant something. It also meant something which uh, later on I saw a picture of a woman showing the great disaster that befell her and her family. And she had perfectly put on lipstick and was ready for the hurricane show. Now, what does that show mean? Perhaps uh, there's a couple lessons for all of us right there. I'm Stan Houston, Interesting Ideas, and the program begins right now. For some of you who are regular, and I thank you for the uh, people who are regular, uh, we were not on Friday. And I think most of you perhaps understood that uh, we were watching the progress of the hurricane because uh, after it left Florida and started going up the coast to Carolina, uh, then uh, actually the part of North Carolina, which is near us, was targeted as a as possible hit. Now, by that time, it would not be anywhere near the hurricane that it was in Florida, but it still could cause some significant, uh, certainly, disruption and uh, something we needed to be aware of, and we were continually getting warnings about getting ready, uh, all the things we should do. We took all the uh, furniture out of the patio, and then we made sure that uh, we were all set for it. So uh, the program uh, was uh, <laughs> not very important. Of course not. We got ready for the hurricane, and we continued to pray for those people that we know who uh, were stuck right in the middle of the significant hit, Fort Myers and the Naples area. We still haven't heard from them. We hope uh, that they are safe and sound even though there's a very good chance that the property, their uh, homes that they loved, uh, were probably damaged in some way. We are waiting to see and hear. But again, that's what we spent our time doing, getting ready for the hurricane, and uh, hopefully uh, being ready to be comfort and help to those people that we loved. So, no, of course not. I didn't go out to the studio and put on a radio program because I had to do something far more important. However, uh, here we are on Saturday morning, and I did want to reflect on what happened. Because uh, actually later in the afternoon, it was actually, uh, they change all the time, it was headed towards Charlotte, North Carolina, which is in the western part of the state, more in the mountainous area. And uh, that's, a, that's a good two or three hours away, so it wasn't going to hit us in the raleigh Cary, durham arena, the research triangle, as some of you may have heard. Well, then all of a sudden, uh, the news came that uh, it was actually coming directly toward us. But the good news is that it was obviously dissipating in uh, its intensity and uh, if it did hit, it certainly would be disruptive, as we said, but uh, uh, we uh, better be ready for it. And so that's what we did. And then after saying our prayers, uh, we did, after a very tiring day, I went to bed and I slept quite well. Three o'clock in the morning, I woke up. And of course, I wondered. And so I went out to the the living room and by the uh, patio of our small apartment. And I sat down and it was incredibly the sounds of silence. Not a drop of water, <laughs> not a wisp of wind, nothing. I looked out and it was as quiet 
as it could ever be. And that was a wonderful thing to hear. And all I could do is uh, think of a be still, be still, and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Now, why in the world did it go wonderfully well for us and uh, obviously, tragically bad for many others? Only God knows, and for the most part, he doesn't tell. We like to believe that there is a, a good providence in all that comes to us, but uh, certainly <laughs> doubting that is what a lot of us do a lot of the time. However, as I was uh, getting ready for the day, I was watching the news, and the local uh, Raleigh-Durham area was able to capture a story of a woman who was giving a tour of her terribly gone house in uh, the city of Naples. And since one of our good friends is from Naples, I was watching it carefully. But the striking thing was... Here was the commentator, ready with all of the things, and there was the woman who was showing her house. And uh, if I can use the expression, she obviously was a, a classy woman. Uh, she was certainly <laughs> of past middle age, you know, one of our generation, but her hair was nicely tied back, obviously she had made sure that her lipstick was on perfectly, and she looked very, very nice as she led the crew with the pictures through the wreckage, the absolute wreckage of her home. You know what? There's a part of us that simply says, good for you. Yeah, life has been terrible, but you know what? I'm going to be on television. I'm going to be able to tell my story, and I'm going to do what little I can to look at my best. And there she was. And she showed the wreckage of her home, told the story. Her son was there, and he was uh, telling it too. And she said, we worked all our life for these things, and many, many memories. We worked hard, and now it's all gone. It's all gone. And then she again demonstrated parts. Well, this was there, and this was there. And then uh, as she went through it and said again, you know, it's, it's gone. And then she paused for a moment and said, but, you know, uh, just, down the, just down a few blocks, uh, uh, one of our neighbors passed away. And uh, I'm okay. And then she started to cry just a bit and said, it's all gone. It's gone. But she said, you know, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I and my family, we're going to be okay. And uh, we'll do all we can to make it up and start over again. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. And then she said it, a third time. I'm grateful. Absolute class, <laughs> both in style and in substance, about how we may be called in the midst of tragedy to show mercy to others and perhaps still express gratitude. That's my story about uh, this morning. And uh, I just share it with you in these brief 10 minutes to remind me again, <laughs> be still and know that I'm God and listen for the sounds of silence and listen for the voice that is silent. And when the worst comes to you, yeah, put on your best face. Look good. Smile. Be gracious. And be grateful. A lesson for us all in the time of the hurricane. I'm Stan Houston. These are just some uh, random stories and maybe some interesting ideas. A 
again, thank you for your time. I'm grateful. And we'll be back on Monday, hopefully. Uh, we are doing all we can to reach out to a number of people who have gone through some difficult times. And in fact, right in the middle of yesterday, while we were going through that, we got a phone call from a dear friend in Arizona. And uh, a few, uh, about a year ago, uh, he had gone through the worst of times with the uh, cancer surgery. And uh, just uh, yesterday, he heard those four words, the cancer is back. And um, he said, Stan, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. See, that's the human spirit that God gives to us all. And hopefully we can express it in uh, God-given grace to others. Please reach out to me. I'd like to hear your story. That's what this program is all about. Interesting ideas. But the interesting ideas are best expressed when uh, interesting people good people, perhaps even great people, tell us their stories. And that's what we want to do. And we want to do it with you and for you and perhaps even teach you how to do it. So reach out to me at stanhousted at gmail.com, stanhousted at gmail.com. Be blessed and bye for now.